welcome guys so programming the ep rom manually is possible with the help of this circuit which is built by the benitor in his project in his project eight bit breadboard computer okay so I just remove this ram oh sorry ep rom and insert into this circuit so so i want program the jump first so and want to see whether the jump instruction will is working properly or not means the initial first two steps the 0 and 1 already there into this program you can see something no not something like this so step 0 is programmed like this but there is a problem as usual problem the loose connection and that problem is very serious problem because when I program uh, whatever I wanted to program into this EEP ROM that does not actually program into this and some different things I got so let's see what happened I just want to program this uh, jump instruction that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and step 2 ok there is 0 actually jump but there is no zero I want that four so how come it is possible I just want to make it high this is output enable if it is high then you cannot see it is used to write to this EP ROM and then this 4 is coming into the picture first 4 bit are 0 then this value we are programming into this so 4 this value ok for jump instruction let's see whether it is program or not yes it is program now let's remove this one ok give the power see what is there nothing so I just program what I want to program over here 4 2 0 so this is uh, yes 2 0 2 0 so second chip so same thing is there Let's see. Yes, it is program. Mm, remove the power and then insert this thing into I am just giving the power. And let's see our jump instruction is working or not working. I am moving into the program mode. Resetting this step counter. Okay, step counter is zero. Control signals are counter out and memory address register in 
Now I am just programming this jump instruction and just want to address location 8 into this. So first of all I will jump to the location 8 when this instruction will execute. I just program this instruction into the RAM. Okay, it is program. Now let's check whether it is working or not. Step by step, we'll check it. Okay, see this is the jump instruction on the bus. And this is the address location where we want to jump. Okay, no problem. Yes. Now we load this into the program counter. That's it. And that is going to be you can see that okay done so you, this is the data on this address location 8 nice thank you Okay, let's program the RAM. First, we'll reset this step counter as well. So now I'm so this is the run mode now on program mode so let's program one by one this is the location zero okay memory address register location zero this is the ram location zero and i just program instruction load a so i just load a eight so see this loose connection problem. See load A eight. So this is the instruction, and this is the opcode. Actually, this is the address where we are storing the value we want to load into the A register. Then we'll go to the location one. This is the random data. So we'll Okay, now add 4, we are just programming on the location 1 of the RAM, add 4. So this is the add instruction and this is the location or opcode where the, actually this is the, okay, this is the add instruction 0, 0, 1, 0 and this is the 4 is the upcode nothing but the address where we are storing the value we are loading into the register B that's it now we'll move further so see this loose connection problem so we'll move to the location 2 we'll give out instruction On the location one, sorry two. So this is the out instruction. 
one 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 zero, and there is no opcode for our instruction. Then on the location three, we'll save halt instruction. See halt one 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 one. This is the halt. The program will halt. On this point, the computer actually will halt. Now we'll go to the location eight, okay, where we store the value we want to load into the register. That is nine. On the location eight, and on the location four. We store the value ten. Ten. Okay. So let's test one by one what we store into our RAM. On the location zero, you can see this is the and second. Okay. Load. A, that is, then one add B. This is then location two out three halt. See loose connection is there. Then eight, there is a nine. You can see that there is a nine. And four. So four is not what we store for service. We actually not store something. Now it is dead. Dead. That's it. Okay, no problem. Just so this is what the problem. Move into the stable flock. So you see the result, nineteen. Now let's slow it down and see how it works. Let's see what happening. So there is a location zero. So program counter is zero. So that zero will transfer into the memory address register. Okay, so you can see the bus is now uh, giving or showing the data that is instruction and the address. Okay, one is the instruction for the load A and the address, which is eight. On that location, we store the value we want to store into the A register. Okay. So that now transfer to the instruction register, that data, and only address will come onto the bus again, and will transfer to the memory address register. You can see that eight has been transferred to the memory address register, and 
the data of that location come on the bus that is 9 and will store it into the A register with the help of this clock signal. Okay. Now let's see into the this one task has been completed. Full speed. Now we will calculation two. You can see that program so counter is incremented by one. Okay. So we will make the step counter zero. Or we can do it with the help of this clock. It is not going to change because there is now see the step counter has become zero. And once again the program counter is one. But the memory address register is 8 right now, which is going to be changed and will take the value of program counter with the next clock. So now that value has been transferred. Add instruction will add the value into the B register, then ALU will give the result. So 9 plus 10, so 10 is on the that location 4. That data will transfer into the instruction register. So that data will transfer into the instruction register. You can see that. Okay. Transfer into the instruction register. So first I just want to make ok so 10 plus 9 is 19 which is now transfer into the A register so sum out this signal is the sum out sum out and then A in will happen So we'll check it fast forward motion so how it is happened. So it is now we'll make step counter zero. Okay, zero. Now program counter is two. We'll transfer into the memory address register. And there is the out signal, you can see that out. See the value come to the output register. You see that 19, 16 plus 3, see that is the 16, okay, there is nothing on the 8 and 4, this is the 2 and this is the 1, 2 plus 1, 3 and this is 16, 3 plus 16 is 19, so 10 plus 9 is 19, we got the perfect answer. This is the value on the output. Let's do some uh, little thing, subtraction. So, we'll just reset all the things and make a simple subtraction operation. So, we'll make the 16 minus what is the operation we can do? So five, 10 minus okay, 10 minus 3 that is okay. So we want 7. So program that way. But for the subtraction, I want this thing. So location 8, so there is a 9, so I will make it 10, okay. Ah. Ten. And the location 4, I just change that location 4. three so three on the location four and I will perform the subtraction 
so first part will go as it is oh, sorry I'll just go move into the program so 10 now into the A register and we'll make this step 0 so for the better understanding see this is I want to make high so only result affected so this is the signal for the subtraction this is the signal for the subtraction yeah four okay you can see the three which will come into this b register okay you see the result is seven right now see this is the seven and i want that seven into the output is so that goes into the a register sum out come into the a register you can see that 7 over here so we'll make this step counter 0 see the out instruction come onto the bus and further we'll get it into the C 7 so 10 minus 3 we got 7 so these two operations we achieve on this breadboard computer thanks for your time